Hey everyone, welcome to episode uh, episode 6 of my Zootaki Complete Collection Let's Play. And in the last episode we had a few money problems. We ran out of money and I couldn't finish this penguin exhibit off here. Um, so in this episode hopefully I'll start making some mon more money and we can finish the exhibit and get a, f get a few more exhibits added to the zoo and a few more attractions. There's lots of rubbish around. It's getting a bit crowded at the moment, as you can see. Um, hmm. So the lion enclosure is having a bit of trouble. Not the lion, the tiger enclosure, because the guests can't reach the animal poo and stuff like that. So. I, I can't see any. I've, I've got rid of the trees and stuff, and you can't see any. Um, yeah. I just had to turn the volume down. I'm not sure if you saw the volume indicator then. Because I found if it's too loud, I get a bit distracted. We sold one of the hippos as well in the last episode, which was actually an accident. Because uh, I thought one of them had died, so I wanted to sell the older one so that I'd get a bit more money back. I don't really think I'm going to bother buying one at the moment. I'll wait till the money's replenished. We seem to be getting quite a lot of guests in though, which is good. It's more than the second game. The second game you don't get as many guests as this. I think it's just to relieve... because it's a 3D game it's obviously more taxing on your system and when they were making the game they wanted to make it more accessible for those with lower end systems so they didn't make it as complex as this. And actually quite thankful in the second game you don't get this many guests because they won't show up. <laughs> yeah, the guests in the second game are a lot more annoying than in this. So we've got a few, uh, let me check the exhibits, that's the wrong thing. Yeah, the giraffe exhibit, they're all st uh, starting to wear down a bit, the exhibits. Um, where are the maintenance workers? We've got nine of those. Sweeping, going to fix fence, that's good. Yeah, because in this game as your exhibits get older, they fences start to wear a bit and eventually they get to the point where an animal can just get through and escape. Which is something I think they should have kept in the second game because it's too easy otherwise I think the second game. So they just thought, oh wait, um, let's just get rid of everything that's challenging in the first game and just replace it with some super easy stuff. Like the animals in the uh, second game, they don't even need you to spend as much time on their enclosures as they do on this. You can just basically slap a, a lot of grassland, a lot of savanna grass down and they'll be happy. Not to mention some of the animal models are pretty ugly, but I won't get into that. And the terrible AI as well. <laughs> There's lots of trash and everything, and we should be fine. <laughs> oh, we've run out of money again. How's that happened? I don't understand that at all. Yeah, unless it's the salary for the animal for the zookeepers and everything. If that's the case, I might have to sack some of the zookeepers. I mean, if we got 12, we don't need 12 zookeepers, I'll have to fire some. You can assign zookeepers to their own enclosure, which is decent, but it's better to just have zookeepers just a lot of zookeepers but then again it eats into your salary because they each cost around 800 a month so that's probably where all my money's gone I might be able to sell some of the animals maybe but there are orangutans there but I don't think they've had any babies yet maybe they've had one 
and it's very annoying. There's the giraffe suddenly. Yeah, they've got a baby giraffe there. No, I don't want to sell it. They sell for more when they're older. I might sell some of these gazelles. Even though they're barely worth anything. Sell the older animals because then... When they're older, they, uh, they end up dying eventually. As everything does. <laughs> Oh, ill. That's fun as zookeeper. Just leave it for now. Probably my own fault for splashing out so much cash on decorations and stuff. No, it doesn't matter what this bloody carries, so I think I'll sell this. I'll barely get anything for it, it's just the upkeep's around 2000 a month. Oh, my phone's ringing, that's bear with me. Sorry about that. <sighs> I had some clothes to donate the, uh, last week and nobody turned up to collect them so I went and did it myself yesterday and the guys just decided to get in touch with me. So I just explained to him I'd already done it and that was that. But anyway, let's get back to this. Eight, sixteen, twenty-four. Suit keepers are expensive. I might have to fire some more. Fire some main. See how much the maintenance. Oh, it's three hundred. Oh, I've got three tiger cubs. Maybe I could sell one of them. No, I've got two. I mean, that's the most recent one. I'll sell the older one. Oh, we got. How many have we got? One, two, four. They've been busy. I think they're a bit crowded. To be honest, let's see. Yeah, there's too many. Let's sell some of them. Yeah, because in the wild tigers are solitary animals, so they're obviously a bit crowded without many in. There's still too many animals in the exhibit. One, two, three. Still saying there's too many animals, which makes no sense. That's weird. Oh, did I just see it? I'm sh oh no, I was just imagining things. I thought I saw an orangutan escaping then. No, one, it's weird that one of the animals is like glitched, it's like gone invisible. Yeah, I've sold all the baby ones now, I don't, I don't really need them. So they're obviously making the exhibit a bit more crowded anyway. Just, it's just weird, one of them went invisible for some reason. It must have been a glitch. Well, the money's rising. Let's have a look at the zoo profits. Well, it's been rising a bit. It rose, rose there. It's higher. No, actually, yeah, it did rise.
Yeah, so things have been getting a bit better. They're still complaining about my bit of reach the large poo. <clears throat> I can't see it anywhere. There's some over there. That might be what they're not able to reach. Maybe if I clear that out of the way. There. Yeah, it's nearly end of the month now. I'm probably gonna get out some money taken off me for the salaries for the staff members. Yeah, I just got some taken off me. How much did I get taken? Four thousand gets taken off each month for the staff members. I think we've got too many maintenance workers, I'll fire some. But I don't know if I'll better make a new exhibit there. Because snow would cost two thousand for it's just gonna rack up. So I might I might be able to get away with adding maybe grassland animal or some game like a bison or maybe one of these they're actually called Chivaski's wild horses <laughs> not enough dirt not enough grey stone well they can get lost if they think I'm adding any more horses to the exhibit Now, is that okay for them? I apologise for the background noise, by the way. Well, they might want another horse to play with, so... What do they like? Broadleaf bush. I think these can share an exhibit with a bison. But I'm not sure. More rocks in the exhibit. Okay then. I don't think there are any grassland rocks in this. So I'll just have to add some of these. There we go, that's perfect. She to add some benches so the guests can view them and then that's that. So yeah, we pretty much abandoned, abandoned our uh, penguin exhibit and made it into a exhibit for these wild horses. So yeah, looks pretty decent. I don't know what we're going to have in the middle here. I think it might be a good idea to add another um, row of path here. Just avoid it getting too cramped. Because we did have a carousel there, but it would cost too much per month to keep. So I think I'm going to put an end to the episode there. I'm just going to save it in case it decides to crash on me. So yeah, that's saved and hopefully we should get some more money by the, in the next episode. and. Better add a few more exhibits. So yeah, I hope everyone's enjoyed it, and I might have one, another video up next week. Uh, this, this, sorry, I, know, I might have another video up later this week. So yeah, hope everyone's enjoyed this, and I'll see you all soon.